Hi children, I am Pratyusha. How are you? I hope you all are doing well. Today we shall discuss chapter 6 of our mathematics textbook that is time. Sampada's day. Children, here Sampada's daily routine is given. Let us look into that. Get up for school. Sampada wakes up in the morning to go to school. Next, eat breakfast. So she wakes up, gets fresh up and she eats her breakfast. Then, read a story in school. Sampada reads story at school. She listens to what her teachers say. Then, eat lunch. She'll have her lunch at school in the afternoon. Next, she plays in the evening. Then, study. After coming back home from school, she gets fresh up and she does her homework. She studies at home. Then, go to bed. At night, she'll have her dinner and she goes to bed. Next, Take the activities that you do in the morning. Children, here some activities are given. We have to take the activities that you do in the morning. First is taking bath. Yes, I take bath in the morning so that I have ticked. We all take bath in the morning, right? So, we shall take the first picture. Next, here you can see the child, a girl is reading. She is studying. She has her school bag beside. So, do you study in the morning? I study in the morning and even if you come to school, in school also you study, right? So, I have ticked the second picture. Next, in the third picture you can see a girl is eating. Do you eat in the morning? Yes, I eat breakfast in the morning. So, I have ticked the picture. If you think that the girl is having her lunch, then you need not take that. I am thinking that she is having her breakfast. We have our breakfast in the morning. So, I have ticked the third picture. Next, a girl is brushing her teeth. Do we brush our teeth in the morning? Yes, twice a day we brush our teeth, isn't it, in the morning and at night before we go to bed. So, I have ticked the fourth picture. Next, take the activities that you do in the evening. Children, we have to take the activities that we do in the evening. First, bath. Do you take bath in the evening? I don't take so that I did not take. Next, the children are playing. Do you play in the evening, children? Yes, right. In the morning, we go to school and we come back home in the evening. We play with our friends. So, I have taken the second picture. Next, in the third picture, you can see a boy is carrying his school bag. I am thinking that he is coming back from school. If you think that the boy is going to school, we all go to school in the morning. So, we must not take. But if you think that the boy is coming back from school to home, then you have to take. Because in the evening, we come back home from school. So, I have taken. Next, in the fourth picture, you can see a boy is dreaming. He has slept and he is dreaming. When do we sleep, children? I sleep at night. I do not sleep in the evening so that I did not take. Children, you have to take the activities according to your daily routine. Right? Next, take the activities that you do in the day. Children, a day has 24 hours. These 24 hours are divided into two parts. One is day time and the other is night time. From morning till evening. That is from sunrise to Till sunset, it is called daytime and the rest part is night time. Here, we have to take the activities that we do during daytime. That is, from morning till evening, from sunrise till sunset. In the first picture, you can see a girl is brushing her teeth. Do we brush our teeth in the morning? Yes, we brush our teeth during daytime. So, I have taken the picture. In the second picture, you can see a boy is walking and there is light. 
isn't it? The day is bright. So we walk during the daytime. So I have did the second picture. Next, in the third picture, you can see the girl is eating. Do we eat during daytime? Yes, we have our breakfast in the morning. We have our lunch at afternoon and we have snacks in the evening. So we eat during daytime, right? So I have did the third picture. Next, in the fourth picture, you can see the boy is taking bath. We take bath during daytime. That's in the morning. So I have did the fourth picture. Next, take the activities that you do at night. Children, now we have to take the activities that we do at night. In the first picture, you can see the boy is dreaming. Do you sleep and dream at night? Yes, we all sleep at night. So I have taken the first picture. Next, in the second picture, you can see a girl is reading. Children, do you read at night? I don't have the habit of reading at night so that I did not take it. If you have the habit of reading at night, you can take the second picture. Next, a girl is sleeping. Do you sleep at night? Yes, we all sleep at night. So I have taken the third picture. Next, in the fourth picture, you can see a boy is walking by carrying his school bag. He might be either going to school or coming back from school. We go to school in the morning, so we do not take. And if you think that the boy is coming back from school, we come back from school to home in the evening, so that we do not take. Next, number the activities in sequence. Children, here the procedure of making a chapati or roti is given. So we have to number the activities in correct order. Children, ask your mother how does she make a chapati? Find it out from her. What do we do? First, we take flour into a bowl. Then we add water to it. We mix the flour and water properly. We knead it and make dough. We take small balls of dough, roll them, make chapati, put on fire, put a pan on fire and fry this chapati, right? At last we have the chapati, we eat the chapati. So in the same procedure, give numbers to these pictures children. First we take flour into a bowl, then add water. In the third stage, we mix water and flour, knead it into a dough, then roll it, put on fire, cook chapati and then eat. Next, take the activity that will take longer. Children, in the picture you can see a bucket is being filled and a drum is being filled with water. So, which takes Less time to get filled, bucket or drum. Bucket gets filled quickly, isn't it? Compared to drum. Drum takes longer time to get filled. So we have to take the activity that takes long time. That is, to fill a drum, it takes longer time. So we shall take the second picture. Next. Here you can see a boy is walking. And another boy is riding bicycle. Children, who will reach quickly? The boy who is walking or the boy who is riding a bicycle? Yes, the boy who is riding a bicycle will reach fast, isn't it? Who will take long time? The boy who is walking. So, we shall take the first picture. Children, that's all for today. Thank you all. Have a good day.